What do you want? Get out of here. It's for adults only. Hey, welcome back to the Supper Club, and let me tell you, it is buried. We've got Goodwill finds, loot cards, some on cards. We've got the embarrassment bag that I had to carry around the uh, flea market all day, but this is what they put it in. And then we got this, which was left at the Supper Club front door. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. You ready to dig into these things? I know I am. Let's get going. Hey cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. <laughs> the best for adults only. I'm telling you, the guys at the, the gals at the flea market are just so much fun. There are so many fun little cars in here. We're going to push this off to the side. And we're going to push this one off to the side. And we're going to take a look at this. Now, again, box shows up just sitting at the supper club front door. And let's see what we got in here. Anything? Very fun. It is track. Track a whack a lack a jack, and it's a shooter. Oh, look at these! Oh, that shoots your car down the track like crazy. Oh, you got a, a finish gate. Oh, we might be able to put that in place here. Two finish gates. So as it goes through, boop, pops up. Car goes through, pops up. So we might be able to put this at the end of the track. Depending on how wide these guys are. Because we go down into that, that other one so quickly. But those are kind of cool, aren't they? Some modern track on this. That is awesome. So whoever dropped these off, I kind of have a sneaking suspicion it's the pierogi maker in the neighborhood. We really appreciate it. So the pierogi maker, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> if you like pierogies, oh my, oh my. I want a pierogi pie, that's what I'm telling you. This guy makes pierogies, the whole family makes them. It's a family ordeal, and they invite the Romans to help them, and it's usually like Christmas Eve, or the 23rd, I think, of Christmas that they do it, and it is spectacular and so much fun. Big, huge conveyor belt of stuff. So let's get into this bag and let's show you what I got here. Now this could be something really good or not. So they're buildings. Now remember I was telling you I was looking for, uh oh. I was looking for some buildings to give a 3D supper club look at these look at this one <laughs> this one's pretty close to the supper club but it's like look at our supper club it just needs like a second door it's like I need two of these so I do have some putty and stuff so I'm wondering if I could make a mold of this and I'm not quite sure how, I've never molded anything before. If you have any clue or hints on molding something, that would be great. Because I just need this just a little bit bigger. Do you know what I mean? I know it's not the right scale if you put a Hot Wheel in front, but it's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe not. And then I found this one, 
which is like could be a great supper club but it's on the angle so we'd have to like do it this way and where do we put the old Johnny clock and his sign I guess where this one we could just dig it in right into the front here oh let me back out that's why it's like that's why I can't see anything so we could easily put the clock the Johnny clock up there and then maybe the sign up above on this part and maybe we got a skinny supper club opposed to a long supper club maybe painted up in the Johnny Roman colors it already has the dark green on it so that's good maybe add make these grayish color to match the the gray of the supper club that's already there so what do you think any modelers out there that do these things anyways I just thought that these might be very interesting it's a new supper club then I got these cuz man I got a leather jacket and I and a uh, blue jean jacket and man I just want to put these on my jacket for all those men that have given and were never found so I'm just telling you that's that's something just for me so thank you to all the, the fighting men and women that have gave us our freedoms in this country I wish the young people would know and understand that then I ran into this guy he's a Hot Wheel collector in Wisconsin and if you want to call him he's got a little bit of everything he's got new and old and vintage and you name it he's got it so if you're looking for something special give Roy a call I told him I'd give you give him a shout out see what happened so let's see what we got in our bag of daddies oh there's a guy up there <laughs> he calls me Smalls but oh look at this thing this is an old super king missing the wheels but other than that it's pretty good I just wish I had those wheels on there made in England come on work me by Lesney matchbox series King size number 14 Taylor Jumbo Crane look at that thing still has the hook still goes up and down but again when I saw this I'm like ah, oh, childhood at its best look how beautiful this thing is now if I could just get some wheels it looks like uh, this uh, wheel I mean tires but this wheel got burnt or something it is damaged kind of bad but at the same point for the age of it ah oh, I'm happy to have that in the collection then he had this one too which is again a king size harvester and the wheels would roll on the ground spinning the whatever that shoot thing is look at this thing missing the wheels everything's always missing the wheels <laughs> let's see if we can get this class combine harvester matchbox king size number nine made in England by Lesney got it that is again these are king size when, when they say king size they are king size so what else do we got here we got a little bag of kind of mismatched stuff now I'm sure there was just one car in here because these are no-name bands kind of kind of funky but nice 
They got a little roll to them, but not much. Here's those cheapos that do super great on the track. And again, just because they're old looking, they don't look at the quality of the car. This one's missing a ladder on this side. But other than that, this one is pretty sweet. Look at the details on that little wood grains and stuff. 1924 Buffalo. Number HF433. High speed China. Maybe. Got some dualies on there. It's looking sweet. Again, too bad it's missing the ladder. Maybe the ladder's in there, but that would be a long shot. But you never know. Here's some carnage. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> look at this. So this is what I saw that I love. This is a police helicopter on a flatbed. It's a cheapy China buffet type of thing. And I do believe in this goes here. It's got a funny uh, connector in there. Come on. See the screw on there? It's huge. Think of it. Oh, there it goes. So that is kind of cool for no name. These are all cheapy no names. Oh, this one's kind of different. It's got a little weight to it. High speed again. China. This one's a little different. I like this one. I don't know. It, Again, it's different than those other ones. Formula. Look at this racer. This just shows age. Very fun. Hong Kong. Made in Hong Kong. That's it. It's a metal body plastic engine with a guy in it. Formula. Again, this is, I like this one. It's kind of a sleeper in the package, which is cool. Here's another one. Big fatties in the back. Nice. Made in Hong Kong. Oh, that is, yeah, those are pretty sweet. A little no name. Van. It's always fun. Vans, custom vans are always fun. Get all the hallucinogenic graphics on the side. Made in Hong Kong again. But again, this is a metal body. This is kind of nice. Probably uh, lifted the molds and changed out the wheels. But this is better than the real cheapy plastic ones. At least it's got some weight to it. Here's a fire bird. Fire breathing bird. Look at that. We're not copying the logo. Our bird is fire breathing. <laughs> kind of wild. <laughs> Kaiser. Kaiser. sticker on it. Again, metal body, no name. Before they now here's our good old cheapy plastic sports car. Let's add some dots and stuff and then a checker cab and the number 38 on there. Made in China. <laughs> now that's a cheapy. Now look at this beauty. Again, this is a no name. So, just simple chassis. Come on. 
And then here's your interior. Here's your glass. Here's the front end turbo car. Here's the back end busted all out. Here is one door, I'm guessing the far side. Let's put this side in first. <laughs> Look at that, you can piece it all together. Here's the roof with the number eight on it. And here's the other door on the other side. <laughs> oh, that one is destroyed. And then all the pieces and parts. Now those weren't the pieces and parts I was hoping to find, but still, this one was the coolest and this one is really cool in these race cars there's some some sleepers here's a bone shaker for a good old Saul I'm sure he's got it he's got every bone shaker and then every custom one ever made go check him out at Saul's diecast odyssey look at that that is sweet Look at this one. Now, <laughs> I kind of remember having this. Now, my memory doesn't go back too far <laughs> these days, but hey, what did you guys think of the Nacho Table Time? <laughs> did you see that or did you skip past it? Let me tell you, that was a riot. Look at this. Drop, drop, ex excavator. Made in England by Lesney. Just missing treads. That is sweet, though. So we just had a huge taco table to help celebrate uh, Soda Pop coming home. Just, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> we only had a couple short videos and we just, <laughs> I tried to splice them together the best I could. Sound is horrible, everything is just bad on it, but let me tell you, the nachos were a riot. Champion spark plugs, now, I love this casting but it's kind of getting old on me but when it's champion spark plugs come on that is cool beautiful car though matchbox super fast model a ford made in england by lesney 1978 look at those wheels they could be 78 let's see if we can make a little more room for some of these look at this thing <laughs> That's just so much fun. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, look at this. Sure way. Rails toy, 20. Now that's kind of what I thought this thing was. When I saw it, and here is the trailer. Look at that, Libertyville, Illinois. <laughs> oh, that must be their phone number. Call them up and see what they say. <laughs> Tell them Johnny sent you. Uh, so this is a promo from Rails Toy 26. Where am I here? There we go. Nebraska. I have one other of these. So I have two now. They're both moving vans. But look how cool that is. Just a semi truck. Now, I don't know if this is chippy dippy from playing or someone put a price tag on it. Oh no, here's a price tag right there. Holy smokes, let's see if we can get it off if it's not a super gluer. Oh, don't put price tags on these old guys with the paint. Cause sometimes, the, you see that? Paint just chipped off. Oh, you guys suck. Look at that. That's why you don't put stickers on your cars, you gomer gomers. Ah, oh, crazy. No matter how careful you are, it's just the, the paint isn't primed or I don't know what, but now we got another chunky donkey on there. But that's okay. Still cool. Look at that. That is pretty sweet. 
Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, 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 oh. you can see what this is. I am totally digging this. This is my first one of these. It's a zinger, right? I don't know what it's called. All I know is they're Hot Wheels. They were tiny and very cool. Hong Kong Mattel. This one's in pretty great shape. There's zingers. There's Zowies or something like Zowie Zuba Ziba Zaba. The Stone of Zanzibar. That's what they are. But look at that. That is just so cool. I know uh, Rad Daddy Studios down in Florida has a whole case of these, which is really cool that he's got those. His collection is fantastic, but if you're into models, model building, and stuff like that, go check him out. You will not be disappointed. Oh, then I found this guy, GTO. Look at how sweet that is. This is like a 143rd scale. Kind of nice. This is a Welly. 2313. Pontiac GTO 1965. Now, look. Wheels cracked. Both of those. <laughs> oh. Fronts are good. Oh, nope. Got the crack started. Just hasn't broken all the way through. Doors open on these. Look at that. That is just, this is a really nice piece, except the tires are all busted out. Now the hood or bonnet doesn't go. The bonnet or booty or high patootie doesn't go up. But that is a nice piece. I'm going to try and pull back a little bit. See what else we got here. Look at this. Caterpillar with the trailer. Tractor and trailer. Cat racing. So that's cool. Now if we have a mic... No penny. If we had a micro machine or something, that would be great to slide into this thing. Oh, these semis are so cool. Yellow on yellow kills a fella. Made in Hong Kong. Racing champions. Got it. 1990. Made in China. And then the tractor trailer is upside down. By the way, oh, look at that. That's a pretty nice wheel tire combo. <clears throat> so we've got that and our helicopter, which is pretty cool. we got in here oh, 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 oh there's some cool stuff in here then I found this one which is Pepsi which is really cool but the trailer I found was QVC race team Maybe there's a dollar in there no nope. no penny no dollar no nothing so this is a matchbox, and this is racing champions, but they kind of go together. Take the Pepsi off the door, <laughs> right? Oh, this one is so cool. First for me, which is cool. There's so many cool ones in this one, uh, and I still got even cooler to come. One of my favorites, look at this. Again, these old, old vintage Lesneys that have the working arms on it, they're just so hard to find with the working arms. Weatherall, hydraulic, made in England. I can't wait 
allow that in there, but I know you can, so that's cool. Weather all hydraulic. Decals busted up a little bit, but look at the guy in there and stuff. This one is pretty sweet. And look at this one. These old vintage ones are just so much fun. Even beat to all get out like this one. Chippy dippy everywhere. The fire chief still has his little cherry on top. Look at that Ford. So simple, so beautiful. Ford Fairlane, fire chief's car, made in England by Lesney. Now, yes, you could totally restore this and get it glimmering, brand spanking new, new decals, new everything. Buff out those windshields so there's not a scratch, but I'm telling you, well, there's a hole in <laughs> right there. That's hard to buff out a hole. But I'm telling you, just as it is, to me, that is gorgeous. It just shows the history behind the car. The, the, it's lasted for so stinking long. It is so cool. Then look at this one. A Volkswagen Beetle with a round window that tells you its age for all you air-cooled fans. Look at that. Was blue. Made in England. Volkswagen sedan. Number eight. Has black wheels. Looks like the lenses were painted at one point. Blue with orange headlights. <laughs> so many cool cars in this series. Oh. One tire. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it goes on there. <laughs> we got one tire. It's good. Look at this. I have found one other car like this a long time ago. Now this is the gray wheel Lesney. Opposed to the black wheel. So this is a little bit older. But it still has its siren speakers on the top. Lights. Oh, police car. Wolseley 68. 680. Made in England. Number 5. Look at that. Again, to me that is just gorgeous. So cool, so cool. Like I said, you never know what you're going to find at the flea market. Let's see what else do I want to bring out next. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's pull out this guy. He's in a bag, so it must be important. Now, the wheels look a little whack a lack a jack to me. But, those are wheel riders on there. Pretty sweet. Rusted, disgusted, ages can't be trusted. <laughs> now we're the aged. <laughs> Look at those. Just beautiful. Hot Wheels spelled out on that. 1982. That is, again, a nice piece. We're all over the board on these. Then I found this guy. Now, he was in a pile with other cars. You know, and I had to just add one more to make it the right number for the right price. Malaysia. Ford Shelby. GR1 Concept. Now, it's a little beat up. And the flat black is not doing it for me, but again, you guys that customize and repaint, strip this thing down and it would be, I don't know what color, what color would you say would be a great color for that? I don't know. Then this, I always love this one. Got probably about four or six of these. 
over the years. Right hand drive, you got a person on one side, dog on the other. You do have a trailer hitch and super secret license plate codes on there. Matchbox series number 95 MG2 for MG 1100 by Lesney. Look at that. Little trailer hitch on there. Still has a peg on it. I'm digging that. I'm digging these old ones. So then we go into this one. The Starfire. Now this looks like a it's a matchbox. Limited Super GT. 1985 it's like a Vega wagon right but look at those wheels and tires on there that that was cool for me graphics just so 80s <laughs> got some side pipes on it but this is kind of a cool car for me know nothing about it whatsoever then we've got this which I know you guys love which is a little a gamer thing. What does it say on there? Can we read it or no? Lightyear. It's Buzz Lightyear as a car. Now I've found some other ones like this. They crack me up. <laughs> so I'm digging that just just for goofy's sake. Then we've got this gold shiny car, which is fantastic. Hot Wheels and all sorts of DNA in there. 1979. Not too bad. Dig it. Then this Volkswagen, because I don't know, just kind of Volkswagens are fun. So you've got a modern Volkswagen, and then here's the old Volkswagen back there with the oval window. What is that? 1950s? There's your engine. Flames are a little loud on that. So this guy is selling, which I didn't get. He's selling new Hot Wheel cars on the card. The loose ones for $2. And there, there's stuff you can find in the store, and he's telling me they're rare, and I didn't see anything rare. Then he goes, but the loose ones are a dollar. So here's my first dollar car. And then I got 14 for 10. And it included some of those old ones in there. Look at this. This is Johnny Lightning. Plain Mantis. Johnny Lightning. Look at this. This is so in fantastic shape look at that it is just so crazy cool here's the second one look at this just so much fun these are beefy with rear riders on them I remember when this series first came out I got a couple of them I got the little red wagon because that's the one I knew but all the rest of these that I didn't really pick up just because they were so expensive so look at that again just wait around you never know what you're gonna find at the flea market look at this Dodge fever Great detail on all these. Isn't that amazing? I'm telling you. So much fun to find these. Now, usually at the flea market, I do not pay a dollar a car. 
but when I see these vintage ones like this and this and this, things that you can't find, <laughs> I gotta get them. It's like buying a new one in the store, you know? Look at that. In honor of Big Mama, who loves these things. Look at this, this folds down. Racing champions on this one. 57 Ford Ranchero. That is nice. Okay, finish it. Oh, someone's right in the middle of an engine swap. <laughs> oh, but look at that. So, that's two bags and then I got one more and again this is just a series that I just think is so much fun and it's in the package <laughs> look at this crashers 2 now I do believe I have the crashers 1 double damage crash them fix them crash them again so this one the roof comes off the front comes off Kaboom! Crack kaboom! Crash activated ice cream stand. <laughs> so there's seriously, there's an ice cream stand to crash into. So the hood crashes, the roof crashes, and fix it and crash again. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny so the ice cream stand actually busts into a billion pieces as well quick fix now here's all the other ones oh that would be fun crashing into the tree another ice cream stand oh that one's cool headlock their ice cream stand and then some barrels Rodzilla but this was cool to just see it in the package Backwood bomb is the same as the crunch chef chief chief <laughs> mr. Drysdale pretty wild stuff Oh, so they have shooters that we just got left at our front doorstep <laughs> at the old supper club. So this is from the year 2000. Look at that. Made in China. So it looks like there's... What is that, an outhouse? <laughs> so I don't know if I'll open that or not because it's pretty cool in the package 20 years old right so, so that was our <laughs> thrift store find what do you think pretty amazing stuff right just some cool crazy stuff let me get this octopus out of my way here and get in a close-up look at these cars these are really sweet this one is just so cool to me I've, I've been looking for these you know you can find them and you know they'd be like uh, we'll take Trixie and half a soda pop and you can have this little car I'm like no I ain't paying that much so with the economy getting tanked and people, again, I'm guessing they're starting to flood the markets with their cars, the price drops to something more comfortable for us. Now, if you're a wheeler dealer, you know, that kind of sucks because the price drops for you guys. But those that just collect for the enjoyment of it, it's a really good day. So here's building number one, kind of a corner lot. 
and here is building number two, which is very close to Johnny's. But it's downsizing, which I guess we all need to downsize at some point. But that is so stinking close. That is so cool. Then we got these king size. I found one tire, so that is just fantastic. Bone Shakers Champion. Then you've got these semis. Look at that. It's so cool. Except they put the sticker on there. I probably should have soaked it off with some Bestine or something like that. You got a Caterpillar Racing. Got a helicopter. Corvette. Oh, Johnny Lightning. Some big stuff. Totally sweet. Look at these guys. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Yeah, we might just have to do a little racing, right? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, let's trace these two guys first. See what they do, if anything. Hopefully they'll do something. Oh, they're too wide. They're going to destroy it. Oh, no. No, no. Not even going to try. I'll be chasing those babies down all day long. Trying to find them in every crack and crevice of the mountain. Oh! <laughs> Caught them up in the end there. Let's do these two guys. what we're learning here is these no names are actually really good on the racetrack who would have known right <laughs> so I'll pull these guys all off just kind of keep them here to the side We'll race these old two jalopies. Now one is more plastic and one is more metal. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Pretty sweet. This guy reminds me of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Let's put him on the upper track and see if he does any better. There you go. <laughs> Those are pretty funny. I'm digging those. Got one back over here. Hang on. Oh, let's see what else we got. Let's race these two and see if they do anything. Oh, he came out the chute. Shoot, it's the shoot. <laughs> okay, let's see these guys go. Oh! <laughs> those guys were cranking. Open the wheels. Let's try those again. Let's see if we can replicate that. Is hilarious one more for the show oh. Oh, he beat him out <laughs> oh that is great rear riders won't race ah oh, I want to race these but let me tell you I'm gonna be chasing them I ain't chasing today <laughs> I'm tired today so I think that's it for racing. <laughs> he had some pretty good ones. And these last two guys, man, these guys were really cool in their racing. Whoops. Whoops, the dudes. So, thoughts, comments? 
like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Oh, which is your favorite? I know this guy's fine. <laughs> These are close second. These, oh, I'm telling you, everything here today was very cool. <laughs> Even these. Oh, thanks for coming into the supper club. We'll see which one we go with and what happens. I just need some time. <laughs> it's hard to do videos every day and then keep up with everything else that's happening. Remember, this has been a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. We thank you guys and gals for hanging out with us. And uh, we just really enjoy the friendships that we're building. Go check out people's other people's sites and stuff. They've got cool cars and stuff to go on. And uh, just be safe out there. It's crazy. It is silly crazy out there and just getting crazier so I want these to be highlighted because oh my I can't tell you my heart goes out to all the families of men and women who have served this country so uh, selfishly to just for our freedoms and that will never be forgotten by us me and my family uh, Soda Pop, Trixie, Big Mama, Sandy, we all appreciate you guys so, so much. Thanks for coming into the Supper Club. Oh, we got a couple other things. A couple models. Some train stuff. Some miscellaneous. And we'll see what is next. We still have boxes and boxes to go. Luckily, they're shutting down. And... We've got content for everyone, everywhere. Hang on! We will be back with another video, hopefully within the next day or two. Rock on, my friends. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.